Hey everybody, Sean from Movie Assault here, and it is time for my post-Christmas 4K Blu-ray and DVD haul. And between the last pickups video I did and this one, I kind of went a little overboard with uh, pickups and orders from Amazon, and I visited that used DVD Blu-ray shop that I was telling you about in my last pickups video that I wanted to revisit. I think I'm gonna make one trip a month there. Uh, it's about 45 minutes away from my house, um, but it's got an amazing selection of stuff, and it's so big I can't even like see everything in one visit without getting overwhelmed. So it's definitely worth a visit, at least one visit a month. Um, so I'll be showing you stuff from there, from Amazon, from Blu-ray, from Blu-ray, from Best Buy, from um, eBay and from Dollar Tree. I picked up a couple of things from Dollar Tree this month, or actually last month, because all of these were purchased in the month of December. So I'll start off with Big Lots. Um, got a bunch of stuff from Big Lots. Um, two, well, I got five things, five Blu-rays from Big Lots. Two are blind buys and three are movies I've seen and really like. Uh, first up is Matt Damon in Downsizing. Um, I've heard mixed things about this one. I really wanted to see this when it was in theaters, never got around to it. Then it was on cable, never got around to it. Um, and for five bucks, I figured, what the hell? So I'll pick that up. Um, the other blind buy is a movie with Simon Pegg called Kill Me Three Times. I don't know anything about this one. If you've seen this one, let me know what you thought. Um, it looks like it is a mystery and suspense type movie. Um, I'm assuming with Simon Pegg in it, there's probably a little bit of comedy in it. Um, I don't recognize any of the other names other than Luke Hemsworth. Um, so I'm interested to see what this has in store. And then these other three are movies I've seen, um, some of which I've actually owned before. I wanted to put them either back in my collection or upgrade from a DVD. This is one I had in my collection as a Blu-ray before and got rid of. Really like this movie with um, Steve Carell and uh, Keira, Keira Knightley. Um, just a very sweet movie, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Uh, one of my all-time favorite movies, all-time favorite Coen Brothers movies, Fargo. Um, this is an upgrade from DVD love this movie. I have loved this movie since I saw it for the first time in 96, and it's a movie that I frequently revisit. And last of the Big Lot stuff is Up in the Air with George Clooney. This also has um, oh, Vera Farmiga and Anna Kendrick in it. Danny McBride is also in it. Um, <clears throat> this is a movie I just really enjoyed. Um, it's kind of a, an interesting tale. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about it, so I want to watch it again, but I just remember I really enjoyed it. Next up are the movies I picked up from the used DVD place. It's called Buy, Sell, Trade, which sounds like a pawn shop. It's really not. Um, it's in a, a mall, and it's, um, it's just a huge store. Um... The first thing I picked up is Event Horizon, and I have seen this. I really did not like it, but I have not seen it since the 90s, and I've heard so many people rave about it, I figured I would pick it up and give it another chance. Um, I think this was $6. Um, it's in really good shape. Um, the one thing I don't like, and pretty much the only thing I don't like about the buy sell trade places it puts these horrible stickers on the front of the um all of the movies and that's their version of a receipt if you want to return it it has to have the sticker on it well i hate the stickers so i have to take them off and they're not the kind that easily peel off the covers um so you have to use goo gone and it's just a big mess but i think it did an okay um job of getting it off of this one if you've seen this let me know what you thought of it I absolutely hated it the first time I saw it, but so many people have said they love it. I just wanted to give it another shot. Um, I was really happy to find this one. This is a movie that I have not seen since I was a little kid and have very fond memories of. It's got a little bit of sticky residue on it from the aforementioned stickers that I'm trying to get off. But 
Uh, but this is a movie I used to watch with my family on TV. Um, it's a mad, mad, mad world. And this is the Criterion Collection Edition. This is the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. And it is just chock full of stuff. It's got um, Criterion Collection's usual booklet full of liner notes. It's got a map of all of the locations visited in the film and a little bit of notes about each location. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it's got four discs. Um, oh, actually five discs. Oh, crap. I didn't even realize that. But it has... And it actually says what each of them are. Uh, there are two Blu-rays, one including the film, and then uh, some special features. Then a second Blu-ray contains a high-definition digital transfer of a 197-minute extended version of the film, which was reconstructed and restored by Robert A. Harris using visual and audio material from the longer original Roadshow version, including some scenes that have been returned to the film here for the first time. Then we've got D three DVDs, one with the restored 4K digital film transfer, transfer of the general release version of the film, and then the high-definition digital transfer of that 197-minute extended version of the film, and then the third with many, many special features. So very happy to have this, and I look forward to revisiting this. This was a movie I looked forward to watching uh, when I was a kid, just sort of a zany madcap movie with a bunch of recognizable stars. Um, just a hell of a lot of fun, and some great artwork on the box as well. So it's a mad, 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 mad world. And it was produced and directed by Stanley Kramer. Uh, this is a sort of a guilty pleasure. I, I think I had, I, I know I had this before on DVD, <clears throat> excuse me, and I either traded it in or sold it for some stupid reason, but I found it at the buy sell trade place and picked it up again. It's on DVD. It is the TV series from the early '80s called Square Pegs with Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, it also features Amy Linker, John Femia, Merritt Butrick, Butrick, um, Jamie Gertz, Claudette Wells, Tracy Nelson. Um, this was this comes in two thin cases three discs overall um and i think there's th oh it's 19 episodes and just something that i used to watch when i think i was i was a freshman in high school when this came out total 80s nostalgia there uh, this next one is one that I had in my collection before and really enjoyed, and I'm not sure why I got rid of it. I think I had it on DVD, though. Um, the Adjustment Bureau with Matt Damon and Emily Blunt. And this is another movie that I just really, really enjoyed. It's not what I was expecting. I actually saw this in the theater um, <clears throat> and just really, really loved it. Um, and your mileage may vary. I probably was in a sentimental mood when I saw it, um, but I just I just think it's a, a really good science fiction romance type film. A little bit of a thriller element to it as well. All right, next up is the very slim pickings I got from Dollar Tree this month, or again, last month. First up is a film with Curtis Jackson, also known as 50 Cent. Bruce Willis and Ryan Philippe, and it is called Setup. It's from the producers of 88 Minutes and 16 Blocks. It looks like a heist movie gone wrong, or a heist, heist gone wrong movie, I should say. A heist movie gone wrong would probably not be that uh, fun to watch. <clears throat> Limited special features on this, um, but for a dollar, can't really pass it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this one is a romantic comedy called 
we'll never have Paris. I know I've seen a lot of people pick this up at Dollar Tree. I've never been able to find the Blu-ray version until this particular phase. Uh, this is a film that was written by Simon Helberg, who is probably better known from his time on The Big Bang Theory, but uh, he is also in the film. He produced the film, and he's also with uh, Melanie Linsky and Zachary Quinto, two people that I really adore in films. And then um, last of the Dollar Tree stuff is a DVD. This I've seen and really enjoyed. It's sort of a superhero movie um, with a twist. It's called Special with Michael Rappaport. Um, I've got a review of this on my website, movieassault.com, if you want to check that out. Um, but I really just wanted to add this to my collection. I, I streamed it when I watched it for my review. All right, next up is a bunch of Amazon stuff. And first up is a film that uh, I don't hear anybody ever talk about. I actually saw it in the theater when it came out. Um, it's one of the first, if not the first movies I've, I saw with Nicole Kidman in it. Uh, but it is called Billy Bathgate. And this is an old 1930s gangster type movie. Um, I don't remember much about it at all, but it does have a really good cast. It has uh, Dustin Hoffman, Nicole Kidman, Steve Buscemi, Stanley Tucci, and Lauren Dean. And uh, it was directed by Robert Benton, screenplay, screenplay by Tom Stoppard. Um, just wanted to revisit this. Got a fairly good deal on this from Amazon. Next up is another movie that uh, I just really wanted to add back to my collection. It's Apollo 13. This is an all-time classic with Tom Hanks and Bill Paxton, Kevin Bacon, um, Ed Harris, Gary Sinise, and uh, was directed by Ron Howard. I don't remember if I said that, but uh, this is a movie that I could watch over and over again. And another 4K movie to, for my collection. This is Total Recall. I don't know if I... I mentioned this in my last video, I think. I, I can't remember, so I wanted to just throw it into this video uh, as a recent pickup, but Total Recall. And these next ones are probably the most recent that I picked up. Um, this one is from the director of um, uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99 and uh, Bone Tomahawk. And I've only seen Brawl in Cell Block 99, which also featured Vince Vaughn. But this has Mel Gibson, Vince Vaughn. Michael Jai White, Tori Kittles, who I don't know who that is, Lori Holden, and Thomas Crutchman, and Don Johnson. Um, it's dragged across concrete. If you've seen this one, let me know what you thought. Uh, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo. And this was five bucks, but the director is S. Craig Zoller. And I just really loved Brawl and Cell Block 99. <clears throat> I've heard mixed things about this, but let me know what you thought if you've seen it. Uh, another re-entry into my collection is a movie. I don't know why I got rid of it because I really enjoyed this movie. It's another Bobcat Goldthwait movie, God Bless America. I, I was looking for this in Dollar Tree, and I know a lot of people did pick it up at Dollar Tree. I couldn't find it. Uh, I didn't get any, any nibbles when I put out there on a couple of videos back that I was looking to trade for it if anybody had it. Uh, so I just finally just bit it and bought it from Amazon, and I think it was five bucks so it's not like I really laid out cash for it um, but this is just a really really good movie very um, it's not the most upbeat movie um, but I think it uh, sort of taps into the zeitgeist of uh, with the way a lot of people feel right now uh, these next ones are from Best Buy and these are all 4k two of them I think I had in my last video um, my 4K Ultra HD collection video. Uh, two I did not, and one of the ones that I did not, that I just picked up, is the 4K version of V for Vendetta um, from the Wachowskis. And this has, of course, Natalie Portman and Hugo Weaving, one of my all-time favorite films. I've owned this on DVD. I still own it on DVD. I own it on Blu-ray, and now I have it on 4K, another film that I just absolutely adore and uh, highly recommend if you haven't seen. 
This is a blind buy, um, one of those movies that uh, has been sort of on everybody's consciousness lately because it is a movie that was released in theaters, was highly anticipated, of course, with the pandemic. Um, it daily didn't do very well in the theaters, um, but then was released on home video, and that is Tenant from Christopher Nolan. Looking forward to seeing this and kind of um, gauging whether this is anywhere near as good as Inception or um, Dunkirk or any of the Dark Knight films. Um, I've loved everything that Christopher Nolan has done um, up to this point, but I haven't seen this one yet. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought. I've heard mixed things, mostly that you can't really take it all in in one sitting. You have to see it multiple times. And I believe it's fairly long. Uh, it is 151 minutes, so it is um, not a movie that you can just rip off in 90 minutes. All right, these two uh, are 4Ks that were in my 4K collection video, um, but they were recent pickups. Rogue One, of course, a Star Wars story, and Solo, another Star Wars story. And again, this one gets a lot of hate, uh, I think because people were planning on, for whatever reason, boycotting this film because they thought um, that Disney tinkers with Star Wars too much or something. I don't know. I've, I've lost touch with, with all of that. Um, I just thought this was a really good Star Wars heist movie, and I like the character of Han Solo. I think that... Uh, Alden Ehren, Ehrenreich um, does a, a pretty good job of playing the Han Solo character. I didn't really have any quibbles with him. Um, I thought that Donald Glover was great as Lando Calrissian. Woody Harrelson's good in this. He's good in most things. Um, Paul Bettany's in it. Um, and Thandie Newton and Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. I really didn't have any problem with this movie. So uh, if you didn't like it, I don't know why, really. Um, but I enjoyed it. And Rogue One I enjoyed, but not as much as Solo. Rogue One is a good movie, but it's not a movie that I'm going to rewatch a lot. Uh, so there you go. That is my post-Christmas haul. Post-Christmas, post uh, pre-New Year haul, I guess. None of those films were, were purchased this month. So um, I'll be starting fresh in January. Well, it is January now. So Happy New Year. Um, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. As always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing all of you very soon with another video. I'd want to thank all the new subscribers I've gotten. My last two videos have done extremely well, and I'm very excited about that. So hopefully the channel's gaining a little bit of traction. Um, always feel free to uh, send in a comment or contact me about something you'd like to see in my collection, something you'd like me to talk about. Um, I'm always open to ideas. One thing I have um, coming down the pike that I'm, I'm waiting for the replacement discs for, uh, I got a request for a closer look at the Friday the 13th box set. Um, and so I think I'm going to do that. It's not going to be an unboxing because I've already opened it. And um, so I'm waiting for the replacement discs to come. And when the, once those arrive, then I will do a closer look at the Shout Factory uh, Friday the 13th Ultimate Collector's Edition box set. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.